Hi, my name is Sam Mullen, and I'd like to introduce you to your typical social media influencer, Louise Delage. Despite being unusually late to the Instagram train, the playful and sunkist photos of this 25-year-old Parisian girl enjoying the laid-back, bruisey and bougie lifestyle she led generated nearly 65,000 likes in over a month. A combination of simple captions full with popular hashtags, bots that kept the page liking and active, and following key opinion leaders combined with the content of 150 photos of a beautiful young girl enjoying the leisurely life she led, proved to be the ideal recipe to instantly create a social media influencer. After a few short months, Delage was by all means another normal account on Instagram. However, her last post, a video, exposed that when the follower zoomed out and thought aggregately about the life of Louise Delage, there was something much more sinister behind this account. All 150 posts contained images of Louise drinking. Every single post on this completely fake Instagram account was created to deceive the followers and expose them to how easy it is to miss someone's addiction, no matter how fine they seem, no matter how close you are to them. Sadly, one in every five deaths of someone under 40 in France is due to addiction. The Actions Addiction Fund developed an online resource to aid people with addictions and hired French agency BETC to promote the site. Not only was this campaign a success within the industry, as it won 17 lions at the 2017 Cannes Festival, however, it was more importantly a success in its effectiveness. Just hours after the reveal of Louise Delage's real identity, the addictaid.fr website recorded five times more traffic, a number which they claim has only marginally stagnated since. 2017 was a year that saw the industry flooded with successful and emotional purpose-driven campaigns that sought to incite social change. But what, in my opinion, made this campaign stand out so much was the advertiser's creative ability to use the media strategy as a means to example the advertising message. The message of this campaign was simple. It's easy to miss the addiction of someone close to you. This message strategy uses the inherent drama of addiction to create a bold, one-sided message. Furthermore, a vital consumer insight was exploited in this campaign, which is that what people put on social media isn't an accurate representation of their life, yet people still believe it. This dramatic message and the insightful consumer knowledge combined to elicit a strong emotional appeal from the viewer. The execution of this campaign was demonstrative as it misguided the consumer to not only be told that it's easy to miss addiction, but literally lead them to so easily miss the addiction that is being posted to them three times a day. This experience that the follower goes through transformed their embarrassment for being fooled into fear at how easy it is to miss addiction. This is a very transformational, personal feeling appeal. So why execute a campaign that only uses one social media channel? More specifically, one platform within the social media channel. Because the completely unique execution of this campaign on social media meant that no one suspected it. And the more people this fooled, not only was the message stronger, but the more likely it would become viral. And with virality came exposure. After a month, Louise had over 50,000 likes and nearly 30,000 followers. And by the time of the reveal video, she had approximately 110,000 followers on Instagram. The reveal video earned over 500,000 views across many social media platforms, which then led it to being reposted on different pages. And once this happened, it really became viral. 140 articles in total were written about the campaign, and popular Facebook page Now This uploaded a video explaining the campaign, which then won 18 million views. And in total, this campaign generated over 1 billion impressions, and nearly 10 million of which was earned media, all without any costly media investment. I think this ad was effective because it showed that advertisers didn't need an expensive, charismatic celebrity endorsement or a spot in the Super Bowl to gain exposure. Instead, BETC showed that whilst being much less costly, social media is tremendously powerful in harnessing exposure, and that if you are creative enough, your media isn't just a platform to display a message, but instead it can be used to strengthen and example your advertising message to create an overall advertising experience that much more effectively resonates with the consumers and audience. Thank you.